this class we work out five problems on nodal voltage analysis problem number one two independent current sources and one dependent current source four resistors are connected as shown in figure find the V in the circuit that is the question here this is 12 amps this is 6 amps this is V by 6 amps this is a dependent current source first step I convert the current source into an equivalent voltage source here this source is 12 into 10 that is equal to 120 volts the 10 ohm resistor is connected in series with this now this is 8 into 6 that is equal to 48 volts the 8 ohm resistor is connected in series with this this is 6 ohm resistor and this is 2 into V divided by 6 that is equal to 1 by 3 volts and the 2 ohm resistor is connected in series with this now I redraw the circuit like this this is 120 this is 48 this is 1 by 3 V now this is V I consider this is V we have to find what is V now I write a nodal voltage equation 120 plus 48 minus V divided by 18 that is 10 plus 8 that is equal to 18 that is equal to V by 6 plus V plus V by 3 divided by 6 I simplify the equation I got 9.33 is equal to 0.445 V I can find V is equal to 20.97 so this is 20.97 therefore this voltage source is 6.99 volts so current flow in the 6 ohm resistor is 20.97 divided by 6 that is equal to 3.495 amps in this circuit is 20.97 plus 6.99 divided by 6 that is 6 ohm that is 2 plus 4 that is equal to 4.66 amps here 168 minus 20.97 divided by 18 that is equal to 8.168 so current towards the junction is 8.16 current leaving the junction that is 4.66 plus 3.495 that is equal to 8.16 here the recharge current lie is verified V is equal to 20.97 volts problem number 2 3 resistors 1 independent voltage source and 2 dependent current sources are connected as shown in figure the question is find the voltage at node 2 and node 3 that is the question there are three loops this is loop 1 this is loop 2 this is loop 3 here this current direction is i1 this is i2 therefore current flow in the 4 ohm resistor is i1 minus i2 first i consider loop 1 i write the loop equation 16 i1 is equal to 10 i1 plus 4 into i1 minus i2 I simplify the equation i1 is equal to minus 2 i2 i2 is equal to minus 0.5 i1 here v2 is equal to 12 into i2 this 12 into i2 that is equal to v2 I know i2 i2 is equal to minus 0.5 i1 therefore v2 is equal to 12 into minus 0.5 i1 that is equal to minus 6 i1 v2 is equal to minus 6 i1 similarly 8 minus v2 is equal to 10 into i1 here i know v2 is equal to minus 6 i1 i substitute in the equation therefore 8 is equal to 4 into i1 i1 is equal to 8 by 4 that is equal to 2 amps i2 is equal to minus 0.5 into 2 that is equal to minus 1 i1 is equal to 2 i2 is equal to minus 1 next is i can write v2 is equal to 8 minus 10 into i1 here v2 is equal to 8 minus 
10 into I1, I1 is equal to 2. So 8 minus 20 that is equal to minus 12 volts. So nodal voltage V2 is equal to 12, minus 12 volts. Here V3 is equal to V2 minus 4 into I1 minus I2. I know I1, I2. Therefore V3 is equal to minus 12 minus 4 into 3. V3 is equal to minus 24 volts. V2 is equal to minus 12 volts. V3 is equal to minus 24 volts. At node 2 I verify 8 minus V2 divided by 10 is equal to V2 by 12 plus V2 minus V3 by 4. I know V2. V2 is equal to minus 12. 8 plus 12 that is equal to 10 divided by 10 that is equal to 20 by 10 is equal to 2 that is equal to minus 12 divided by 12 that is equal to minus 1 plus minus 12 plus 24 by 4 that is equal to 12 by 4 that is equal to 3 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 here Kirchhoff's current law is verified at node 2 the voltage is minus 12 at node 3 the voltage is minus 24 volts Problem number 3, 3 resistors, 1 independent source and 2 dependent sources are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the voltages at nodes, 1, 2, 3, this is the given figure. The circuit consists of 3 loops, this is loop 1, this is loop 2, this is loop 3. This is V1, V2, V3. First I assume V2 is equal to V. First I take node 1 and I apply Kirchhoff's current law in the loop 1. 10 is equal to V1 minus V divided by 6 plus I. I simplify the equation. 60 is equal to V1 minus V plus 6 into I. That is equation 1. Next I take node 2. Again I apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 2. 4V is equal to V this is V2. V2 is equal to V. V minus 4I. I simplify the equation. V is equal to minus 4 by 3 into I. That is equation 2. Again, I take the node 3. Apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. At loop 3, 8I is equal to 4I plus V1 minus V. That is V1 minus V2. Instead of V2, I write V. Again I simplify the equation 4i is equal to v1 minus v that is the equation 3. In the first equation 60 is equal to v1 minus v plus 6i. So instead of v1 minus v I can put 4i. Therefore 60 is equal to 10i. i is equal to 6 amps. 60 by 10 that is equal to 6 amps. Once I know i I can find v. Because v is equal to minus 4 by 3 into i. Here i is equal to 6. 24 by 3 that is equal to minus 8. V is equal to minus 8. I know V. I can easily find the V1. V1 is equal to 4i plus V. That is V1 is equal to 4 into 6 minus 8. That is equal to 16. So I is equal to 6. V1 is equal to 16 volts. V2 is equal to minus 8. V3 is equal to 4 volts. Problem number 4. 4 resistors. 10 ohm, 12 ohm, 4 ohm and 8 ohm. One independent current source, one dependent voltage source are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the voltages at node 1, node 2, node 3 or V1, V2, V3. That is the question. Assume V2 is equal to V. Apply Kirchhoff's current law at node 1. At node 1, current to us junction is 2. 2 is equal to V1 minus V by 10 plus V1 minus V3 by 8. Here V3 is equal to 4V. I can rewrite the equation. 2 is equal to V1 minus V by 10 plus V1 minus 4V by 8. I simplify the equation. 160 is equal to 18V1 minus 48V. Apply Kirchhoff's current law at node 2. Here V1 minus V by 10 current to us is equal to 
v by 12 plus v minus 4v by 4. Again, I simplify the equation. I got 48v1 is equal to minus 272v. Therefore, v1 is equal to minus 272 by 48v. v1 is equal to minus 5.67v. Now, I know v. I can substitute the v1 in this equation. That is 160 is equal to 18 into minus 5.67v minus 48v. So, 160 is equal to minus 150.06 V. Therefore, V is equal to minus 160 divided by 150.06. V is equal to minus 1.07. Once I know V, I can find V1. Therefore, V1 is equal to minus 5.67 into minus 1.07. That is equal to V1 is equal to plus 6.07. So, here the voltage is minus 1.07. V1 is equal to 6.07, V3 is equal to 4. Now I verify Kirchhoff's current law. Here 2 is equal to V1 minus V. I know V1, I know V divided by 10. That is equal to 0.714. This is 0.714. Plus V1 minus V3. V3 is equal to 4V. That is equal to minus 4.28. So, V1 is equal to 6.07 minus 4. Point, that is minus of minus plus 4.28 divided by 8. That is equal to 1.29. 0.714 plus 1.29 that is equal to 2. Here I apply the Richard's current law at node 2. Current 2 was is 0.714. V by 12 that is equal to minus 0.089. Plus V minus 4V divided by 4 that is equal to plus 0.803. That is equal to 0.714. Here, Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 5. Find the value of V, I1, I2 and I3 in the circuit. The circuit consists of 4 resistors. 2 ohm, 6 ohm, 4 ohm, 4 ohm. 1 independent voltage source, that is 20 volts. 1 current dependent voltage source, 1 by 2 I1. Voltage across 4 ohm resistor is given 8 volts. This is plus, this minus. There are two nodes. This is node 1, this is node 2. This node voltage is V1, this node voltage is V2. Once we calculate V1, we can easily find I1, I2 and I3. First, V1 is equal to V. Apply the recharge current law at node 1. At node 1, current towards the junction is equal to 20 minus V by 2 is equal to V by 6 plus I2 plus V minus 8 divided by 4. I simplify the equation. I got 12 is equal to 0.917 V plus I2 equation 1. Apply Kirchhoff's current law at node 2. Here A V is given. That is 8 volts is given. Therefore, I is equal to V by R, 8 by 4, that is equal to 2 amps. That is equal to V minus 8 divided by 4 plus I2. That is equal to 4 is equal to 0.25V plus I2, that is equation 2. I simplify the equation, I got 4 is equal to 0.25V plus I2. I solve the two equation, I find V is equal to 12, I2 is equal to 1. Here V is equal to 12. What is I1? I1 is equal to 20 minus 12 divided by 2. 20 minus 12, that is equal to 8 by 2 is equal to 4 amps. I1 is equal to 4 amps. I2 is equal to 1 amps. I2 is equal to 1 amps. I3 is equal to 12 minus 8 divided by 4. That is 4 by 4, that is equal to 1 amps. Here 12 by 6 is equal to 2. Current towards the junction is 4. Current leaving the junction is 2 plus 1 plus 1. That is equal to 4. Kirchhoff's current law is verified. At node 2, current towards the junction is 1. Here this is 1. Here this is 8 volts. 8 by 4 is equal to 2. So current towards the junction is 2. Current leaving the junction is 2. At this point, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Kirchhoff's current law is verified. V is equal to 12, I1 is equal to 4, I2 is equal to 1, I3 is equal to 1. 
with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening